Australia's Shark Bay is home to over 10,000 dugongs. It seems like a perfect spot for these air-breathing herbivores. The water is shallow and peppered with beds of seagrass, the dugong's main source of food. Biologist Aaron Worsing has come here from Canada to study the dugong. We know almost nothing about its habitat use patterns, its feeding habits, and the way it gets along with some of its major predators, like tiger sharks. The tiger shark, a beautiful, agile, and powerful hunter, is the one thing that keeps Shark Bay from being a paradise for the slow-moving dugongs. Named for their stripes, tiger sharks are massive, warm-water predators capable of growing over 14 feet long and reaching weights of 2,000 pounds. Seems like a bit of a mismatch for the smaller dugongs, which are more closely related to the elephant than to other seafaring mammals like seals and walruses. And there's a very interesting race going on right here in Shark Bay between dugongs and tiger sharks. To get a closer look at that race from the perspective of the dugongs, our team deploys some critter cams. The team is eager to learn what they can about how these clumsy-looking vegetarians manage to evade the tiger sharks. There are a few surprises in store. The dugongs are going much deeper than Aaron thought. But there's not nearly as much food down here as there is in the shallower waters. Still, the Critter Cam team believes that feeding at greater depth may be how the dugongs manage to evade the sharks. Shallow water means tiger sharks, so dugongs do a lot of their foraging in deep water where the tiger sharks don't hunt. Another of nature's mysteries solved thanks to a dedicated team of scientists and Critter Cam.